All right, guys. So once you get your header, uh, it's also it it is of course like without effects, without final effects. And what I'm going to show you in this video is I'm going to show you how to make final effects in like the best possible way to turn your colors of your header like just way better. How to make it, you know, like f like final effects like color correction camera is like the final part of the header making so i'm going to show you how to make it in the best way so first of all if you have your header just uh, click ctrl shift and a so you go to camera all right and once you've done that uh, we go to basic and now we just we just kind of need to play with, you know, like this exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows, and and all the shit that's in here. So we just have to choose the best options to make the header look the best way possible. So of course we're gonna raise exposure to like 40. I mean contrast. We can actually raise exposure a bit, but not so much. And now highlights just a bit like that. Shadows, and you just you just kind of need to play with it as because it depends. If you have like these colors, like maybe whites uh, will look better if it has like more, like if it's brighter. You know what I mean. So just play with it as you want. Texture, texture, and clarity is very important actually. So I will make it like um, maybe like 55 and texture like 5 and now with the curve and just raise up the highlights just like that. So it's really important you know if you do camera row stuff and just color correction because it really gives a nice mm, nice effect to your header to just colors and and some of you I know that I see some of your posts uh, and some people are not using camera and it's bad because you have to do it if you want to be to be better designer uh, sharpening I'm gonna do 90 and noise reduction like 50 now we go to color grading we we're gonna skip color mixer because it's not really important I don't really use it to be honest so we go to color grading and we just get a orange color like that and just play with it as you see all right it's nice we are not going to do it here because then like there will be too much colors and you have you know you have to you have to have the balance of your of your colors on your header uh, all right, and now we can just raise it a bit, just like that, and don't don't change color. All right, now we go to effects. We skip up this in geometry, uh, and we can do the vignetting a bit more like that to give a nice effect to the header. All right, perfect. Now we raise up a tint. I always do that, and now we can just play with these colors, as you can see. Just like that, so you make it like, like that, like nice orange colors. Play with this one also. Of course, you you can't have too much colors, like too much contrast. You know, you have to balance it to make it look the best. We're gonna do it like that, and like that. All right, I think we are done with camera. You can see how it changes. You see, right? Like this one is much better than this one. You can see. All right, and now we click Ctrl and J. We go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur, and uh, we make Gaussian Blur like like 50, and we get lighter color. We're gonna make it like 50 opacity, and you can see it's way better now. All right, now we group it. Click Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E to make a layer. And now uh, we go to mm, Filter, 
sharpen and smart sharpen and we go we are i think 200 is too much so we are going to make it 100 so it won't be too sharpened because it's not not good then and we're gonna click ok you can just copy my settings all right and the quality looks automatically way better and the last part now we are going to go to filter noise and add noise and we are going to add 10 of noise or maybe like maybe like six i think all right it's nice uh, all right mm. and i will also show you my uh, saving settings so yeah so you will just ha you know how to save uh, save in good quality so go to uh, file export and save for web and you can just copy my settings that's how i that's how i save it uh, and yeah uh, after it's converted you just click save and you know you, you just save it you know uh, so yeah uh, i hope i helped you uh, and i i hope that you will not have uh, you won't have a problem with and like just final effects like color color correction or camera uh, once more again uh, and yeah uh, if you like the video if you would just leave a subscribe and like it would really mean a lot to me because it gives me motivation to just create more content for you guys uh, and yeah i would really appreciate that so yeah i see you in the next video